and welcome back to my channel. Another Day 6 reaction today. Uh, the last ones I did kind of caught me by surprise. They were way more upbeat, happier, more fun. Dance Dance especially. Uh, a lot of you mentioned that when you guys saw them live that it's just super intense and so much fun to see that song specifically. And I really hope after all this like pandemic bullshit that's going on, if we could finally um, get back to some live concerts, I would love to finally catch them um, sometime in New York City. Hopefully they tour uh, when all this is over. Uh, when everyone you know is safe to be able to tour again but for today i'm doing the same thing i'm going to combine two of their songs into one video just because when they did their everyday six project in like 2017 whenever it was they released so much content there's like so much content all all every release had like a music video and like a live performance and uh, a b-side there's just so much i'd never get to it it would take months for me to do them all solely so we'll package two together just like last time um, and we're going to be checking out I Smile and Hi Hello in one video. And after the upbeat songs last time, I'm expecting this time around, maybe we go back to our sad boy roots and have a, a maybe slower paced, sadder songs. Who knows? Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for supporting. For those of you that like the Day 6 reactions, there'll be many more to come. So if you enjoy this video, please like it down below. It'll really help me out. And just subscribe um, because there's, like I said, there's going to be a whole lot more Day 6 on this channel. There's already a lot of Day 6 on the channel as it is. If you haven't been caught up with everybody, uh, there's a playlist down below that I'll link to of all my reactions. I pretty much started from uh, their debut, save for Zombie, because I checked out Zombie first. And we're working our way through. So join the community, and uh, yeah, let's just get started. First, we're going to check out I Smile, and then get into Hi Hello. Let's do it. Oh, we're starting in complete silence. Oh shit. Sungjin spotted his ex. Sad boy track confirmed. I'm into it. could really hear the emotion in his voice. Holy shit. Just listen to this. Oh. And I know this feeling. I don't know if any of you guys do, but you've been like out of a, a relationship that was like really important to you for a while. And then they like hit you up either on a text or whatever. And you're like, what the, I was just like getting over you. Can you just, can you let me be? Can you leave me alone? Like go away. I know this feeling. Whoa. Wow, this song has such a great rise to it. Putting on those fake smiles. Pretend you're happy. I don't put on a fake smile for you. One pill, only real smiles, only real smiles for you. That voice. Come on, come on. Only real smiles for that voice. I love songs like this that have like an epic rise like that, but it's almost, um, I mean, the best explanation is to call it almost like happy, sad in a way to where like, yeah, the song is a, like a downer. It's a sad track, but, um, it still has a rise. It has some upbeat parts to it. I love songs that have that kind of contrast. He really does look like Chicken Little, huh? He really, he really does. Ooh, that's my favorite part of the song so far. You heard it before, but this, this little part right before the chorus, this uh, like uh, lead into the chorus, pre-chorus they call it. My mind. I love this part. Ooh. 
Oh, and there's so much energy here. A lot of emotion in their voice. I mean, Sung Jin on stage right now is like looking like he's getting stabbed. He's like has so much pain in his face. Ooh, same with Young K here. I've mentioned before that Young K, especially like on the hype songs, delivers so much energy on stage. Like the most uh, out of the group I've seen, like when it's like a hard hitting song, he loses it and I love it. But he's actually kind of killing this, uh, this sadder song too. like that it's hitting it's hitting on on his uh on right on the beat of the of the lyrics and then it goes and it looks like it's going into some synth it looks like we're about to hit into some synth here with one pill i don't know oh uh... fuck yes Holy shit, wait, I love that. We're, we're not gonna leave it at that. We're going back. Dude! Give my dude a fucking piano solo. Keyboard solo. Holy shit, that was awesome. Oh, vocals. Ooh, wow. Oh, I love how it trails off. Hold on, I love that trail off. really like the instrumental of this one it's like a perfect like blend of this like discordant like reverberating like guitar that you kind of hear echoing in the background and the and the keyboard with that little bit of synth especially like towards the end there it almost like my dude had like a had a keyboard solo whoo that one i liked a lot it like i mentioned before it has the energy of a hyper song with the build-up but it's it's a sad boy track so i'm all into it from every angle um the video, the video was fine. The video, obviously, you know, one of the more story-related ones of, like, following this one girl, um, and I guess who he sees while performing on stage. Um, simplistic in that, in that respect, but the song itself I really, really enjoyed a lot. Um, perfect blend of two different styles of Day 6 that I like a lot which is their like more somber sounding songs and their more hype songs where this doesn't get hype, but at least has that energy. Um, and I like that, just that mix between the two. So really enjoyed that one. Now let's get into, um, what, what was it? Hi, hello. Hi. Ooh, sounds like an alarm, like a fire alarm. Uh oh. We're in it again, aren't we? Dude, who would leave that man sitting on the side of the road? Like, let him into your car. If he's got an acoustic guitar, just let him play it in the back. You're going to have a great road trip. Just pick, his, pick him up. Pick him up. Hell yeah. Ooh, I love the the instrumental in the back track. The do 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 reminds me of, like, um... Like some kind of like a 
indie pop songs you'd hear in like the mid to early 2000s like ones that have been on like the soundtrack for 20 days later there's that one called like am 180 or something like that that reminds me of this a lot Those vocals. Do it again. Yes. Oh, wow. They're so, like, uplifting the way they rise and just carry and so, like, airy. Very dreamlike. Love it. This doesn't even seem like a sad boy song. This seems like a, uh, just a, like, a chill, happy song. Is this supposed to be like some weird way of them meeting each other? Like picking each other up on a road trip? You gotta have one pill in there. You just, you can't leave him sitting there. He's gotta, I mean, granted, I wouldn't want to be driving with one pill in my car because I'm gonna look up in my, in my rear view mirror and I'm gonna see those eyes and I'm gonna just drive straight into a tree. Yeah, this almost seems like um, like a dual meaning thing, like in like very plain ta terms talking about a relationship, but with the video, it's talking about, I guess, them meeting each other and them being together. Slick toss of the bottle. He's good at everything except drinking water. He struggles a little bit with that, but singing, playing the keyboard, great at all that. Is he gonna turn them down? He's like, nah, I'll, I'll walk. You guys are fucking clowns. I'll walk. Also, wait, hold on. I need to hear the, that vocal rise again this time. Was it one pill that did it this time? Is that one pill there? And also, I like I like in the shot how he has his arms out. Like, dude, come on! Like, you're not gonna come with us. <laughs> I love that. Oh, their car broke down. I mean, if one of them were to be a mechanic, I would predict it would be Young K, that he would be the one to know what to do. Now he's going to join them. No, wait. <laughs> he won't. Oh, these vocals, man. Wow, especially with headphones. Like, they're giving me chills. They're just fucking... They bounce from one earphone to the other. Yeah! <laughs> no, I like this video. It's really lighthearted, fun. I, I notice a lot of Day 6's videos focus a lot on like different actors or actresses that might be in the video, but I like that this one is just exclusively them. dude and like is this like the korean countryside because it just looks freaking gorgeous it looks so green like one of the greenest places i've ever been to in my life was ireland it's like i'll never get over how green ireland was but goddamn the korean countryside looks amazing uh and i know it's a small country so i don't know how much of it is really countryside but shit i need i need to see it one day i need to see it that video was awesome really liked it that it was just kept to the members and it was kind of them just going on their own little story of like a way of like either meeting each other or like going on this long road trip and just fooling around uh, as i mentioned most of their videos have like actors or, or things in it that the focus is sometimes taken away from them so i like that this stayed with them 
And also the song is just really chill, like a really good chill, happy song. Um, the vocals, the harmonies there, but right, right at the start of the chorus. This, so nice. Absolutely love it. Yeah, so both of these, both of these really good. Great fits in theater discography and a good change of pace after like the upbeat, um, uh, really happy ones that kind of were just a bit more intense with the last two that I checked out, um, especially Dance Dance. Damn, that song is so good. If you haven't checked out that reaction for Dance Dance, please do. It's really, really good and reminds me of like my like pop punk roots from, from the mid 2000s. Um, but this one also really good, into it. Different kind of vibe. This is uh, probably great, great to listen to when I'm just chilling out in my bed with my headphones on. Um, but I liked both of these. Let me know what you guys thought of these songs. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like it down below. Please subscribe. Way more Day6 coming after this. Maybe I'll start reacting to some like silly Day6 videos. Um, ones that are, because I've already done a guide. If you haven't checked that out, I do have a guide down on the on the playlist as well. But I also want to see some behind the scenes videos that, um, that obviously aren't music videos. Uh, just some of them either fooling around. If you guys have ones where it's like, oh, this is, you know day six combining their last brain cells or whatever it might be called like a really good one that's around like 10 to 20 minutes long you can link down below i'd love to check that out but yeah that's it for me i'll see you guys on the next day six video